Greetings on Chappers. And I'm the captain. We're at Anderton's.co.uk, home of the Kraken. Home, release the Kraken. In fact, let's see if I can do my best Liam Neeson. Who was the actor in the original one? Definitely Jeez. Liam Neeson. I don't know, so. <laughs> In fact, I was watching this the other day, and the original release, The Kraken, the, the guy who plays Zeus... Or Clash of the Titans. He, Clash of the Titans, sorry. One of the best he, ones ever made. The original one, he goes, release The Kraken. <laughs> like that. And then when Liam Neeson does it, he goes, release The Kraken! Well, that's acting. He was like, you know, they I probably know. wanted to really... Saw. Interesting. You know, so which was your favourite of the two? So you know? what's my motivation for this role? There's a Kraken. <laughs> There's a Kraken. You're releasing, releasing him. Okay, right. And then so. in the re original one, this man in a rubber suit obviously comes out of the sea, whereas obviously in the uh, Liam Neeson one, it's unbelievable CGI and some... But back in the day, when I saw Clash of the Titans, it was an... Uh, what, the f what are we talking about? I have no idea. But I used Why? to love all those Jason and the Argonauts yeah, movies. Yeah, me too. Like <sighs> Let's crack on. Oh. <laughs> It's going to be I'm here endless, endless, ridiculous band. So, yes. Can we just say to begin with that Rabia made some really oh, did great he? demos did of this he? amplifier with Victory. Yes. And um, we won't, it's not going to be as good as that. No, so, yes, Rabia Massad, the wonderful Rabia Massad, uh, our super talented sound man here. And, and guitar player in, in our band, Dorje. Well, not our band, I'm nothing to do well. with Dorje. The band, Dorje. Um, he uh, did the official Victory video, so congrats to Rabir. He's a very talented guitar player, and if you want to go and watch that, read the description section below, and I'll put a link to it here. So that kind of tells you... So Kraken really was, was, was originally an attempt by the guys at Victory to make something that was for the extended range kind of genty, uh, the heavy gentleman. rock, metal kind of market. However, as with all good valve amplifiers, it has a plethora of other good sort of tones in it as well. Uh, and I thought, you know, who better abled than, you know, a, a classic rocker like Rob and an old blues fart like myself to plug into the Kraken and see if it'll do anything else. Um, so, yes, over and Rob's uh, left shoulder here, you can see the mighty little grey box. It's in the same size housing as Victory's V30 and V40, so it's ideal for flying with. You've got switchable mains voltage, so if, if you're a professional guitar player doing gigs all around the world, this is ideal. Uh, and we're running it into the Vintage 30 loaded 2x12 underneath it. Um, Which is a great cab. It's a great cab. And I'm enjoying it. It's got uh, a load of features, but they're pretty basic, simple, normal, everyday features, and then some special ones too. Uh, it's got two channels, and it's got an extra master. It's got two masters. So you can have a boost uh, to add to either channel, uh, and you've got gain one and gain two. They're both yeah. gainy, but you can get some cleany, crunchy type tones. Yeah, so it. gain one uh, is based on uh, British goodness, and gain two is based on American goodness. Um, <sighs> gain two has the slightly heavier channel. Is that like a, uh, um, like a burger with Branston pickle in it. It could be, yeah. One one was more of a what, what's English goodness. One's like a you know the nicest sort of Cornish pasty you've ever had, and the other one's obviously a, you know the nicest burger with an extra hot dog. A Cornish in. pasty would be Cornish, wouldn't it? Oh, we're going to get into the Cornish aren't really English. Kind of debate <laughs> now. Well, they have their own language. Well, about four of them speak it. In I think language, it's think really cool that they have their. It is. You cool, know what man. I find really. Do you know weird? the coolest thing about they have a pirate flag? Is their actual they do. flag, don't they? Cool. I think it's really weird that on this island there are four indigenous languages. None of which I'm taught at school, apart from what English. Well, English, yes, although you could debate even that's not but, really but taught at school. Anymore. Gaelic, Celtic, uh, Cornish. Welsh. Welsh. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? What, can you say anything in Welsh? Gobbledygook. <laughs> Boradar. <laughs> Boradar. Isn't that hello or good day or something like that? I don't that? know. But I, but I wish I could. I think it's really yes. cool. Well, you know, I, I think we should Why? focus on speaking English, personally. None of us speak that properly. Proper, I can't eat, well, you don't I can't speak, speak properly, properly. Lido. <laughs> um, I do, because, of course, you know, I grew up in Wiltshire. Ah, so. oh, dear. Um, anyway. We're, we're a bit Goodness digressing, me. because yes, we just we got a coffee, and it was really bad. It was a bad it coffee, although us... it has got caffeine in it, so it's working. Yes. Uh, anyway, and also, so... I'm on a bit of a high, because I just got some ghost frets through. This is the first... Uh, production model goes for it to come through with the yes. Chapman humbuckers, which I'm really enjoying. And uh, so it's been a bit of a special day. Well, Crack Krakens on. are now in the shops. You no longer have to wait for this uh, godly piece of beautifulness um, as they arrived this morning, hence the reason we're doing a video. Um, <clears throat> but... It's a metal app, but it does clean tones as well.
interesting while you're playing there. In the video that Rabir did, which I had the pleasure of watching this morning, uh, Martin Kidd, the uh, chief designer at Victory, said something quite interesting. And that that is, if you take a guitar amplifier that's got bags and bags of distortion in it, and you dial all that distortion in and you get this sort of massive sound, and then you back the volume right down on your guitar so it cleans up, there's, st it's, there's a different harmonic kind of structure to the yep. clean tone that you get than you would if you just had an amplifier that was purely clean. And that's how Rabia and I work in Dorchester. Yeah. We back off on a, on a driven channel. And I must admit, it kind of, again, always, always sort of, you know, learning, you know, I'll never ever stop learning, not just about how to play the guitar, but just learning about guitar. And again, you, you sort of think to yourself, um, this whole thing about going, oh, I've got to buy a Fender amplifier if I want a spanky clean tone and all this kind of stuff. And that's, you know, that's fine because Fender amps do have fabulous spanky clean tones. But some of the heaviest, most overdriven guitar amps in the world, with the volume on your guitar back down, can produce some spectacular cleans as well. Well, let me. Um... Does so, the job it's supposed to do. Now we've got the, the 6L6 loaded one, which is the standard one, the standard the output, um, uh, va uh, output valves that these are going to come with. There is an option to, to have these with EL34 shipped direct from the, the factory to you, or uh, you can just take the EL, uh, the 6L6, you can just swap the valves out for anything that you want, as long as you've got a technician there that can rebias your amplifier. So I think what we should do. Um, Let's just go through game one and game two. So if we, if we set yourself up a sound that you like with game one, game one is, you know, this side of the Atlantic. Well, I just um, I just changed guitars because I just thought for fun, well, I'd right. give them some modern high output pickups. Well, yeah, to, but we can still do that on, so if you put, say, game one around at 12 o'clock, something like that. All right. Then. So we'll start with game one about 12 o'clock and see what kind of tones we get with that and we'll wind it up a little bit just to see what happens. <laughs> So what if we um, max it? Well, let's max it. Go on then. Can I get some other 80s, you know, sort of... Uh my favourite sort of uh, Steel Panther type thing. Yes, I, I love you that can. kind of. But from this tone? Yeah, I think so. Can I use your tuner? Of course. At popular request from you on YouTube, we've purchased a tuner. <laughs> <laughs> back into me, back into me. Go on, oh. Go on buddy. Oh. There you go. <laughs> um, and you wanted the bit of sort of Steel Panther? Yes, please. <laughs>
great. Yes, it so, does. Now we're going to flip over to uh, game two, which uh, again we'll probably start at twelve o'clock. So this is the more American voiced of the two channels. smooth it is smooth it's a it? lovely sounding for, for sort of quick pick uh, yeah. kind of when you pick it's all clear I like and it I, and I really enjoy that about victory yeah. in general you should know that we're not using any pedals with this amplifier other than some reverb through the effects loop um, from good old TC electronic, TC electronic. <laughs> right oh, let's uh, I want to hear game two on maximum oh my god that's a lot oh. of game That's pretty, that's, <laughs> that's not too shabby, that's is it? That's pretty brute, so let's take the reverb uh, well, off. Well, I want to do two things, actually. Um, Ro as Rob rightly said, heavy, heavy amounts of gain, lots of bass end, and particularly reverb, all just add up to probably a bit too much yeah, mush. That was too and, much well, for me. One of the things that's quite cool is on the back of the amplifier is a bass focus button. So if you're using seven string, eight string guitars, heavily drop tuned guitars, or just generally, you know, tons and tons of bass in, if we find that button. Let me call it what it is, it's a gent switch. It is a gent switch, where the gentlemen go. It um, removes that bass end that you don't want in, in the mega low end guitars, so, so that you cut in the mix. If I push that in, put the, you put what? the gain all, ooh. So you what, the gain let me chug and you push it. Well, I've done it now, so all you right. can just play the same riff again, all if right, you switch right. yourself on, and you'll see. So you can see now actually funnily enough for, for stuff like YouTube videos and things I actually prefer uh, I rather like the, the, the sound with all the bass end in there, so without the bass focus, but certainly for recording and uh, playing live in a band, having that tighter bass end is desirable, I'm reliably informed it by is. a gentleman. But here um, it is without oh. the verb and with a bit less gain. Okay, but to still kind of, the bass focus switch. Still the bass on. focus switch. <laughs> It's a very pleasing guitar amp sound. So look, whilst Rob hands me the cable and allows me to do some uh, more laid back sort of stuff, not gent, I should also tell you that um, the foot switching on this allows you to foot switch between channel one and channel two. So if you like, you know, America, uh, British American kind of gain sounds. Two completely separate master volumes. So uh, you can have, you know, rhythm and lead volumes or however you want to do it. Uh, what's kind of cool as well, now if you wanted to change from gain one to gain two and master volume one to master volume two in one go, you could, let me grab the foot switch, you could sort of position your foot oh, step on both. sort of across both foot switches and press them at one go and that would work. Or what's kind of cool is uh, there's an optional uh, second foot switch that you can buy from Victory or you can use any latching, dual latching foot switch if you like. So there's a second socket on the back. 
where one of the buttons will do your effects loop on and off, and the other button will do that kind of magic, let's just jump to Master Volume 2 and Game nice. 2 in one go. So almost like a solo type switch. But you can get, you can get cleanish crunch, high yeah. gain, and then you can get a solo boost. Yeah. <clears throat> so here I am with my dodgy old Squire Strat. <laughs> Gain one, so British. So let's get some. Perhaps I should tune two. Okay, let's get some. That's with my volume back down about half, so if I put it up. A bit fierce, can I just back the gain down a smidgen? If I put all the gain in channel one, back off the volume and see what you get. Really interesting, because it's a very different clean sound. Or, well, it's a very different sound. I, I must admit, I'm genuinely, genuinely having my perceptions changed about how to get sounds that I like. I always thought I wanted big clean sounds and I would use pedals and stuff, mm. but I'm... I'm you know, it's not that clean. Well, it's, it's not... I think there's a there's a, only a point to which you can go on a guitar. Yeah, yeah, of if, course. if you go, there's like perhaps the volume between like one well, and two ends. Depending on the circuit, weedy, doesn't got, it? Yeah. yeah. But when bring, you it, think, bring it all in. Exactly. Look what I've got here. And then I've got my mid boost here, so I can, if I want to, I can kind of try and go, I don't know, Clapton y sort of. It is, it's designed for metal, but it isn't just for no. metal. No, can I try channel two? Yeah. Just, in fact, I've got channel two. There again, you go. I? So we've got this on just, just, a, just over, over half. Just over half. So let's try, uh, let's see what we can get out of this again. Sounds like it's been played in the vinyl. It's a bit, bit harsh and again a bit scratchy, like it. isn't it? I just have a bit less middle maybe in there, or a bit less treble. Clever. 
I bet that must be what they just did in the old days. That's Got all, that's what they all did. and fender basements and just cranked the shit out of them and just all did everything did. from here. Yep, that's all they did. Right, yeah. So, so how much is it? 8.29, so basically same price as all the other lunchbox amplifiers in, in the Victoria range. All the there are some consistent features through the, the lunchbox victory range, so they all have a high and low power mode. Uh, they all have a single ended mode if you want to get really good. Point. Really quiet. What's the high watt on this? 50 watts now. 50 so watts this is, this of is the loudest one of, of the um, the victory lunchbox amplifiers so far. Um, and the low wattage setting is how much? Half, they're just half 25. Power. Oh, and then but then if you go single ended, it goes down to something like three or four watts or something like that. Well, Although single ended completely changes the character of the amp because it yeah. goes from being class A B to class A. Do apologise. Didn't have my. Um, <laughs> didn't have my. Uh, oh, bang! Turn that off. Yeah, all That's made in England price. as well. We sh we must say we we started talking about uh, England and and everything like that, and and should end talking about. We England. should end. Um, it's like toad in the hole, with Yorkshire pudding. Yorkshire, yeah. Cornish pasties. Yeah. Uh, what's and, in, and Welsh rabbit. And then like uh, haggis. American mustard. Everything. What what do you eat from Ireland? Haggis. Guinness, my, pint of Guinness. My granddad told me about haggis. Now they farm them. Have Apparently, you farm a haggis? well, they have one Sorry. leg shorter than the other because they live on mountains. <laughs> and what happens is the haggis farmer, well, he's a wily person with a net, will sneak up behind them. And then when he's really close to them, he'll go, oi! And the haggis will turn around and then his leg's the wrong way around. Yeah, there's no such thing as a, as a haggis. And then they fall down because the, the short leg is then facing the area where you need a long leg. And they fall down into the net. And that's how you farm wow. haggis. And I've been Rob Chapman. And I've been the captain. See you and later. aliens do exist. They do. That's an in-joke, by the way. <laughs>